Well, hospitals in Central Texas are receiving cases of the antiviral drug Redesivir, which has received emergency use authorization from the FDA and has shown signs of reducing the recovery time of COVID-19 patients. The shipments are coming from the Texas Department of State Health Services as part of a donation from the drug maker Gilead. Ten cases are coming to Central Texas. They'll be spread out among these local hospitals. According to early clinical trials, the drug has shown it can reduce a COVID-19 patient's recovery time from 15 days to 11. President Trump told reporters this week that he's taking hydroxychloroquine, which also has emergency youth authorization from the FDA, but is not yet formally approved for preventing or treating COVID-19. KXAN political reporter John Ingle found out why an Austin doctor has treated 10 of her patients for, for COVID-19 using the drug and why a state group that guides doctors is not recommending it. Dr. Ann Shippey says she's already seen success treating COVID-19 patients using hydroxychloroquine in combination with zinc and other supplements. But the FDA cautions against its use outside of the hospital setting or clinical trials, saying there's still no proof that it works and it could cause serious heart problems. I'm keeping my patients from getting sick enough to have to go into the hospital. Shippey says she too recovered from COVID-19 and treated herself with hydroxychloroquine. She says technology allows her to monitor oxygen levels and heart conditions while patients are at home. When I talk with my patients on a daily basis and, and I see them responding so quickly, you know, sometimes 24 hours, but definitely 72 hours, I can feel confident about it. Would you prescribe this to one of your patients as either a preventative or a treatment for COVID-19? No, I would not. I the would Texas not. Medical Association does not recommend hydroxychloroquine for preventing or treating COVID-19. What's your reaction to the, the Medical Association saying that we don't recommend this right now? I don't really have a response to that. I, I think it's, it's easier for me to, to feel comfortable with it because I've seen it work. Epidemiologist Dr. John Carlo says there are too many risks and not enough data. I don't think this is going to be the one. Um, and I certainly don't want to have the message that this is something that everybody should go out and get because uh, it's just simply not indicated right now. John Engel, KXAN News. Another concern is whether there will be enough hydroxychloroquine to treat patients with malaria or autoimmune diseases who need it. According to data firm Premier, orders for the drug spiked 260% the first two weeks of March.